Hogwarts Legacy will allow players to explore the Wizarding World like never before on February 10, 2023. There has recently been a little division amongst Hogwarts Legacy fans regarding some of the PlayStation exclusivity that's being offered. As you probably heard, PlayStation appears to be the platform with the most to offer when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy. Since the game's first announcement, Sony and PlayStation have held the marketing rights for Hogwarts Legacy, with most of the game's promotional material and marketing happening via Sony media channels. And we now know that PlayStation players will have access to exclusive content that PC and Xbox players will not. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of exclusive content, and maybe you're not either. But I wanted to make this video to inform you of the differences between the platforms when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy content, so that you can be the most informed when the game releases. So far, we know that the PlayStation version of the game will feature an exclusive potion recipe, as well as an exclusive quest that will offer players some interesting rewards. So let's first discuss the PlayStation exclusive potion recipe, that being the Felix Felicis potion, also known as Liquid Luck. This is a magical potion that makes the drinker lucky for a period of time, during which everything they attempt will be successful and it was featured in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It is meant to be used sparingly, however, because it causes giddiness, recklessness, and dangerous overconfidence if taken in excess. In Hogwarts Legacy, Felix Felicis is a luck potion that reveals various gear chests on the minimap for one in-game day, giving you a pretty sweet looting advantage as you explore Hogwarts and the surrounding areas, which sounds like a potion you'll want to brew very frequently, as it could lead you to a lot of awesome and advantageous loot. However, players will only be receiving the potion recipe and will still need to quote, make the most of your potions lessons and the room of requirement potion stations to brew this bottle of liquid luck. The Felix Felicis potion will be available for any PlayStation players that pre-order one of the various editions of the game, that being the standard, deluxe, digital deluxe, or collector's edition. So if you're playing on PlayStation, as long as you pre-order, you will receive the potion recipe. Now, let's discuss the exclusive quest. PlayStation players, whether or not they pre-order the game, will have access to an exclusive quest not available on Xbox and PC, at least for a while. This quest, titled The Haunted Hogsmeade Shop, will allow players to take part in a mysterious quest line. And as you can see here, we were shown some pretty sweet art for the quest. It will feature an exclusive dungeon and also grant players some interesting in-game items as well. Now, as I said, this quest will be PlayStation exclusive for a while but it looks like it'll be available to other platforms one year after the game's release, giving PlayStation players an entire year of exclusivity for the quest. Within the quest, Cassandra Mason has a shop to sell the player in Hogsmeade. However, as we quickly find out, many secrets are contained within this shop, leading us on a journey to find out why Madame Mason is so eager to sell it. Now, when players complete the quest, they will be granted two items. The first being the Shopkeeper's Cosmetic Set, which as you can see here, features a quite stylish jacket and hat to complete the outfit and I think it's definitely something I would wear in-game. However, the second item is definitely the most interesting and probably useful to players, and it's something I really hate is exclusive to one console, but let's talk about it. Upon completing the quest, players will also gain access to their very own shop where they can sell items and gear at better rates than anywhere else. So it sounds like completing the quest will be beneficial in helping you earn more money and eventually more unlockables in the game. So if you're a PlayStation player, it really sounds like it's in your best interest to try and get in there and finish this quest. It looks like a really interesting quest, a really fun quest, but it also grants you this store, which is going to allow you to get more money more quickly and be able to get those unlockables faster. So a win-win in my opinion, if you're a PlayStation player. So everyone, after hearing all this information, what are your thoughts on the game's PlayStation exclusive items and quest? I'm very interested to hear your thoughts, so be sure and let me know in the comments below. I, for one, wish that all players would have access to this content. However, I also understand how the business that is gaming operates as well. At least we can rest assured that the game will not contain microtransactions since we've been told that already, which is a positive that we can hold on to. If you'd like to know more about the dark magic or the beast and magical creatures in Hogwarts Legacy, click one of the videos on your screen. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Bye bye.